So if you're looking to convert various types of files, this is the perfect Chrome extension for you. So here are just some of the things you can do with this Chrome extension. You can convert PDF to PowerPoint or to JPEG, um, PowerPoint to PDF. You can also do file splits. So this is just a list of some of the things that extension can do. Um, there are other things that it can do as well. So this extension is called small PDF. So I'm going to show you two things that small PDF can do. One thing I like to do with a small PDF is to convert my uh, PDF into PowerPoint, and I'll show you why. I have a PDF packet that is 77 pages long. This is a student workbook, and I want to turn this into an editable file for the my students and also I want it to be a live document so that I can check to see what they're doing and uh, where they're at. So what I want to do with this file is I want to convert it into a PowerPoint presentation. I will go to my small PDF Chrome extension and I want to click PDF to PowerPoint. So it will take me to the screen and it tells me to choose the files that I want. So I just want my uh, file, my student workbook. So it's converting my PDF into a PowerPoint now. Okay, so once it's done converting, it's now available to download. Keep in mind that small PDF the free version allows you to do two tasks a day for free. So if you uh, only need it to do two things uh, max a day, or if you plan wisely, you, you don't need the pro version. So once you click download, it will show up here on the bottom of your screen. And now I have my student workbook in PowerPoint. So why do I want my student workbook in PowerPoint? Well, then I am going to upload this PowerPoint file onto my Google Drive. So now that it's on my drive, I can choose to open with Google Slides. So once I have opened it in Google Slides, I can now convert this PowerPoint presentation into actual Google Slides. So I'm going to click Save as Google Slides, and I now have a document my students can uh, work on and make edits to. That's one thing I like to use um, small PDF for. What you can also do with small PDF, amongst other things, is delete pages from a PDF. So let's say I have some pages from a PDF, some random pages from a PDF that I want to remove or get rid of. So I can open the PDF and it will show me all the pages that's on the file. And I can go through and delete the pages that I no longer want or think is necessary. So let's say I want to delete this page. I can also rotate the pages to how I want them. And maybe I don't need this page. Especially when you have sheets that have answers on them and maybe you want to give students a, the packet. Um, you can delete the pages with all the answers. Once you're done deleting the pages, you just click Apply Changes. It will delete the page for you. And then you can click Download and Save. So those are just the two things I've shown you that Small PDF can do. There are so many things that it can do, um, so check it out. And that's it.